Hello everyone, we are back once again. It was a very quick week. I hope everyone is happy and healthy and for all of your pleasure, back by popular demand, is our wonderful <laughs> rabbi. And here's the rabbi. Hello everyone. Uh, this Shabbat here, we are going to be uh, yeah. reading Prashat, Prashat Beha Alotecha. And it begins with the kindling of the light of the menorah by uh, by Aharon, the, <laughs> the priest, and uh, <laughs> with the instructions how to do that. <laughs> it's, uh, In wonderful. case you're wondering what's going on, there's, there's a little rabbit running around and we're <laughs> excited to see the rabbit. Continue, <laughs> Rabbi. <laughs> yes. So, uh, it's very interesting to know that once I said that King David said, God is your shadow. In a way, he wanted to say that whatever you do, it's like you have a shadow, meaning there is a, 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 a repercussion or there is a, a, automatically you have a reaction from what you do. You do good, you're going to get good either either instantaneously, instantaneously, I mean, in, in an instant or perhaps in a long time, but you always get the reward or the good thing that you do. On the other hand, if you do something that is bad, you, you get punishment, whether you think that, you know, you, God doesn't forget. And so it's very interesting, there is, there is a, uh, an episode in, in, in the Torah, uh, on Prashat Be'alotecha, he tells us there about uh, Miriam. Miriam was struck with an, the illness of Sarat, a spiritual leprosy, and uh, she couldn't move from the camp. The people of Israel, all of them, they were ready to go and cross, to go across to, the, to, to Eres Israel, um, but she couldn't move. They wanted to move. What to do? Um, the, all the uh, elders and everybody of the, the leaders of, uh, of the people of Israel, they got together and they decided three million people, should they wait for one person, Miriam? <laughs> and they decided, yes, they are going to wait until she recovers and she can go with them into the land of Israel. Can you imagine three million people for one person? Now, of course, uh, the, the, the Torah is giving us, in a way, a great lesson about when you do good, this is the reward that you deserve. Even three million people will wait for you. What is it that she did so good? We know the episode of the Torah when Miriam, uh, Miriam put her brother in a basket and into the Nile and she watched and waited what happened. Now before that, how this transpired, what happened that she had to do that? Of course the Torah tells us that that the, this Levite was uh, the name Amram and Yochebed. These were a couple who were married. He had to go and marry her again. Why? Because originally he really uh, separated from her. And he was one of the leaders of the people of Israel. And everybody emulated him and everybody respected him. And so therefore they did the same thing. What was, why did he separate from me? Why? Because he was saying after the decree of Pharaoh that he was going to drown every male child, he could not afford to bring any more children here to the world so that, so that, so that uh, Pharaoh will destroy them. And so he separated from his wife. This did not go very well with Miriam, with the daughter. The daughter, in fact, reprimanded the father, uh, her parent, and he said, you know, you are, you are doing something worse than what Parao is doing. Parao is, is, uh, 
getting rid of the males, but you are going to get rid, not to bring a child into the world. You know, after her uh, trying to convince her, uh, her father, she did. And then that's what the Torah tells that he took. Uh, he took uh, his wife back, and this is Moshe was born. And the first thing that the Torah said when Moshe was born, that this was uh, um, later on when he was from, drawn from the water, she saw that he was very good. But, but in the house, in itself, when, when he was born, he said that he was tov. He was good. Not that he was good looking, but simply that he, there was a light. The Midrash says there was a light in uh, that in there. And the father realized, and I said to his daughter, he kissed her and he said to his daughter, this is what the Midrash says, that your vision, your prophecy is come here. And therefore, this is, this light, it shows this is going to be the savior of the people of Israel. But lo and behold, immediately, as he was saying this thing, the, 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 uh, the, the, the people of Pharaoh, the agent, they were coming and looking for the, for, for the child. They, they hid him, but they could not hide him anymore. And what happened is that he realized, he said, this was a kind of a, a dream, a wishful thinking. This is a high for a moment. And so therefore, he told his, 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 uh, his daughter, I think we thought that this was the case, but it's not. And Miriam was the only one who was persevering. And he, she said, she watched and she was patient. And she, even in spite of all the difficult situation, she never gave up. And this was the type of personality that was Miriam. It came now a moment when the children of Israel, the leaders realized, he said, Miriam wait, waited for Moshe. Now we all, three million people will wait for Miriam because she deserved that. Her prophecy ultimately came about and it was only because she joined, uh, she put together her prophecy and patience to have. It's so important. You know, we always are the kind of people that we have, we know have, we have faith. We have faith that Hashem, God, is going to help us. That's very true. But we, at the same time, we think that we are the, 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 the only one who know where our sustenance is going to come, how our health is going to be. It is like if we, and intentionally we, rea we think that it's all in our hands. But you know, God doesn't work in, a, in the same way that we think things should be done. He works in his own way, and ultimately the result you will see if it's not now, in the future. And this is, this is what the Torah is telling us, that you remember when you have a vision, when you have, uh, uh, when you have almost like a prophecy, when you have a vision of something that is great and is, is important, one of the most important things that you have to have with that is vision, because ultimately, look at the vision of our people. And King David said, uh, um, uh, he said, Beshuv uh, Hashem, Shivat Zion, Ainu Kecholmim. We were like dreamers when to, to be returning back to, to, to Zion. Where was the dream of our people nearly for 2,000 years to go back to Eres Israel and it become, we have become a nation, you know, with our, we, with our country and with our people, with our soldiers. Never is a dream, a dream that it was that it come true. The fact that we would have Yerushalayim, that's what it is, Veshuva Shemet Shiva Tzion, Ainu Kacholmi, we were like dreamers. And what it is, the patience of the people of Israel to know that this is a prophecy that our people uh, have been given by Akadosh Baruch Hu, we have to have patience, ultimately it will be realized. And this is what we need to do, that there are th those things that are good and wonderful and that we hope for 
we need to have patience constantly and to know that ultimately HaKadosh Baruch Hu will realize it for us. Shabbat Shalom.